Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It's time for In the last part, we did the first ticket mission. In this part, we're gonna do the second one. <gasps> wow, I can't believe how fast I did that intro. <laughs> if you understand a thing I just said, I deem you amazing. Anyway, yeah, so in the last part, we did the first ticket mission of this world, Frigid Fjords. Off camera, I did get the gold medal. It wasn't too, it wasn't too hard, actually. I got, it on my, I got it on my second try. And in this part, we're going to do a very cool level, Evergreen Lift. Now, this level is pretty cool. I do like its design a lot. Although, it's really difficult, which is pretty... I guess it's good that they're making it more difficult as we are getting further in the game. So the gimmick here is that you need to keep rolling that to make this platform go up so that we can proceed further into the level. And the whole time, you know, you have these waddle dees falling on you, you have a limited time to get all these beads because the platform's moving. Yeah, it's kind of... I would say it's like the last level, except a lot slower paced. So yeah. Um, I guess you could call it side-scrolling, but you can almost control the side-scrolling with that, um, yarn thing, so... Since we can't control that, why don't we... No, I guess we can't get that. Oh, well. Alright, let's activate it again. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, I keep forgetting- I keep forgetting to talk about this. In the earlier parts, I was talking about how I was worried about my finals, and I never really told you guys how they went. My finals actually went pretty well. I haven't checked my grades in all of them, but I checked my grades on all the ones that I was really worried about, and I actually- Oh, pfft, derp. There goes my star, too. Oh, okay, it's coming out. Come on, don't disappear, don't disappear. Nice, I got it. But yeah, the class I was most worried about, Spanish, I got 100% on that final. Yeah, which is really impressive. I'm very... well... Yes, yes, no, I'm grinding my own gears, but um... Oh, what up? Why doesn't that work? Oh, there we go. So yeah, I, I don't want to grind my own gears, but I am very impressed with myself that I did so well on that, on that Spanish final. It was pretty easy, though. I, I won't deny that. <laughs> it, it didn't fit our other Spanish tests at all. It was laughably easy. And then... Okay, here's what happened. I did so well on the final, it bumped me up from a high B to an even higher B. 91%. Yeah. And where I live, you need a 92% to get an A. That means I was 1% off from getting an A. Yeah. And me being the... Me being, you know, the perfectionist I am, that pissed me off quite a bit. So before, I was thinking, okay, I'm not taking, I'm, I'm not taking Spanish 2, I'm tired of Spanish. Now I want to take Spanish 2, so that I can... So that I can get revenge on that class for, like, trolling me with that A. Yes, I'm that kind of person. <laughs> yeah, and plus, Spanish is pretty easy. I don't want to, you know... Well, okay, it's not easy, but I do enjoy the class, I guess, but... Eh. Okay, maybe I don't enjoy the class. It's one of my least favorite classes, actually. Yeah, like, throughout the day, I had, like, four classes in a row, and I dreaded all four classes. I had Spanish, Sign... Oh, don't, 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 derp! Spanish, science, English, and math, all in a row. And then I had my... And then I had, I, I had my electives at the end, the end of the day. So, yeah, that was really annoying. You know, gee, like, you know, the one thing that they could throw in here, the one thing they just had to throw in here, these little snowballs. And yeah, they have cannons here that fire snowballs at you, that freeze you. Yeah, God, I hate this level so much. Why, why did I say I like it? Yeah, it, it does get pretty obnoxious in this level with all the uh, obstructions, with these snowballs, and the enemies, and yeah. Oh well, I'll still make it through. Ooh, um, oh, I- no! Derp! No! Oh, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, the snowball broke that for me. Alright, that worked out really well. A star reef. Oh yeah, that's where a reef is. I, I can't remember- I, I can't remember what, what that was, like the word for it. I guess it's reed. Or reef. <laughs> Yeah, I remember one year we put a wreath out on our door, and somebody went down the hallway, because well, we, we lived in, in an apartment building, and somebody went down the hallway, grabbed all the wreaths, and just randomly threw them out into the backyard of the apartment building. Yeah, I don't know what would drive somebody to do that, but, well, probably just some drunk teenagers. Because that seems to be the answer to everything these days. Drunk teenagers. Or high teenagers. Same thing. Alright, anyway, um, oop. Derp. Wait, can I get both of these beats? Come on! Yeah! Oh god, I'm getting OCD with all this stuff going on. <laughs> oh, I want that! Yes! Okay. And yeah, I'm doing pretty good on beads, too. I might actually get this on my first try. Yep, I did. Alright, awesome. I really didn't think I'd get that on my first try. This is definitely one of the hard levels in the game. Oh, and we're at the end. Alright, so let's make it up here. So yeah, this level is pretty cool. I, I, I still like it. I haven't lost any respect for it by doing this. And it also didn't take that long. I thought this was going to take a really long time, which is why I didn't do it in the last episode. Oh, yeah! Wow, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that went over pretty well. We're five minutes in, and that gives me time to start the next world, Spaceland. And these next two worlds are the last two worlds, for one. 
And also, I love these next two worlds. Now, the first one is Spaceland, and then the second one I'm not gonna say, because it's a spoiler. But Spaceland is awesome. Like, the kind of puzzles they have to go through, and then the, the landscape, it's just awesome. Although, it's, it's expected that it's really difficult. So there will be a lot of me missing treasures and having to go back for it, or a lot of me getting not, or not getting the gold medal and the beads. So yeah, let's see how I do here in these six levels. First one is Future City. Oh, I remember this one. If I remember correctly, the gimmick here is that you were on this futuristic roller coaster kind of thing. Let's see. Because I haven't, I, I haven't done a practice run of this level yet. Yeah, I know. Um, oh, this seems pretty cool, actually. All right, let's let's head down. Oh, oh, okay, so I guess we're heading up. Oh, same thing. And is that Star Fox music? Okay, kind of sounds like Star Fox music. <laughs> Alright, and let's get all these. Ew. Yeah, you don't want to follow the track, because then you'll die. Yeah. Yeah, there is no landing below you. It's just... It's just death. Although, if you do fall off and land on a platform, this thing does just um, respawn, so you can just wait for it to come again. Trying to get all the beads, or most of the beads at least. And you want to grab onto... it. Oh! Okay, I really wanted to get that thing up there, but okay. Hopefully there wasn't a treasure up there. Uh, what's here? Oh, just another. Oh, wait. I can fussed. Alright, let's see what's up here. Um, I'm a, little un I'm a little unfamiliar with this world. Oh, this is pretty cool. Got like platforms that go back and forth. So yeah, this world does introduce some pretty cool mechanics, though. Like these, well, these conveyor belts were all, all right around, but they had some twists on them. And oh, look at that cute little UFO enemy, dude, let's kill it. She is so cute when he dies, her dude. Alright, um, oh, I guess we need to... Alright, good, that worked. I always, I always think it's kind of weird when the game makes you do that kind of thing. Oh, and then these electrical thingies, you can snap them shut so that they don't hurt you. Which is, once again, pretty cool mechanic. Pretty creative. Because creativity in this game is very new. Yeah, th th this game normally isn't creative at all. Nah, not at all. Anyway. Oh yeah, so um, today Chugga posted his first episode of Pikmin 2. From the first episode, it's looking pretty good. Um, of course, I've always been a big Chugga Con right fan, in case that wasn't obvious enough. Um, I want to get in there. And Oh! Derp! Ah, uh, game! Like I said, Spaceland is a jerk. Okay, let's see if I can get in here. And nice. Alright, at least I didn't miss a... At least I didn't miss that treasure. Okay, first one. Anyway. What the? Ugh! Getting a little aggravated. Oh, what's up here? Oh, just a swing. Wee! I still love the mechanic. I don't know why. It's so simple. Yeah, I love it for some reason. Eh, whatever. Let's make it through here, and... Hello? Oh. I guess if you jump, it... Oh, okay. Just wait. Distribution. Oh. I guess we need to wait for it. Oh, or that. <laughs> I wonder if that would actually work. Like, if you were on this, this kind of platform set, like, I wonder if, like, jumping would actually do anything. I don't know. I don't take any kind of physics class. Oh. Okay, this is, good. This is a little tricky. Uh, there we go. And then... Nice, we made it. Although, there does seem to be something over there. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we seem to be in some kind of futuristic city. I know, who would have thunk it? I totally... That, that, that's totally not the title of this mission. Nah, you're crazy. Alright, let's head up. Okay, I keep, I keep thinking we're gonna go down. I don't know why. Alright, and... Sh oh, okay. Oh, new power-up. Oh, no. No, not again. My old rival, the UFO. <sighs> let's do this. God, I hate this thing so much. Oh, we have a rainbow here. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. Hmm. Speaking of mind-blowing stuff... Um, <laughs> yeah, aren't, aren't I funny? But, um, oh, wait, what's up here? Is there any kind of bonus? Or is this where you're supposed to go? Okay, I think you're supposed to go up here, so that means I should go downwards. I do lo I do love the atmosphere of this world, though. It's pretty cool. And, and the boss is really cool. And, yeah, so this is where you're not supposed to go, which means that this is where you should go to get beats. Yes, my logic is awesome. So, speaking of mind-blowingness, I saw a video just, like, five minutes ago where they had a camera that like stood completely still in midair, and it showed how fast the air was rotating and moving, and I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I, like, you know, you, you never really think how fast the, the Earth moves. It actually moves pretty slowly. Like, you'd think it'd be moving at like at, like jet speed, but no, it actually doesn't move that fast at all. 
Mm, I don't know. I'm sure the video is still on YouTube by the point by the time it's being uploaded, so I'm sure you could look it up. Um. All right. So let's. Oh, I guess we just have to go around that. Okay. And that building looks like a giant ocarina. Like the top of it looks like an ocarina. <laughs> Coming from somebody who's never played ocarina at time, of course. But actually, I'll... use use all the nerds. Did ocarina like did it like did the game ocarina time invent the ocarina like the musical instrument or did it just copy the idea of the ocarina? Because I'm rather curious, and I noticed that in this other games, having a kind of, some kind of musical instrument is kind of a running theme. Which, I don't have, which I don't think anything of, I'm not a big music person. Yeah, I don't listen to tradi like traditional music at all, like I don't listen to, to Lady Gaga or anything. I basically just, like, if, if I listen to any music, it's probably just from a video game. I know, I have no life. And, I would like to get those beads, um, there we go. And, zap. Okay, pretty rewarding. Ooh, very rewarding. Oh, it's a shortcut too. Okay, not just beads. But of course, we're going to completely ignore the shortcut because if we go the long way, we should we should almost get hit by an arrow. But we should also get some more beads. Uh, am I right? Ooh, die. Thank you. I was hoping I'd save that for later, but oh well. And space jellyfish. Ah, space jelly. It spawns things. Very weird, and I think I missed out on something by, go by not going into that shortcut. <laughs> that really sucks, but okay. Uh, ooh, I saw the treasure. Alright, what's up next? You know, I wonder if these things like can swing more, or did they just kind of... Oh, okay, if you ground pound on them, they move a little bit more, it seems. Nah, I can't tell. Oh well, not the biggest mechanic in the game, anyway. Let's pull on these. And... Oh, this isn't safe at all, is it? <laughs> um, okay, let's... What the? I like ran off of that. Anyway, um, hey, what's up here? Oh, okay, it's it's it, it's one of those string things. Okay. Oh, ah, derp. <sighs> oh wait, no, I want to I want to get this out to stars. Um, don't disappear, don't disappear. What did I just tell you not to do? <sighs> there goes my beads. Oh god, you you always feel so empty inside when you lose all your beads in this game, really. Oh well, here we have this base table. Alright, so that's two treasures. God, this level's pretty long, isn't it? I kind of like it. Because, like, it does, it's not so, like, it, it doesn't run on forever, and it, it stays kind of interesting, you know? Ooh, um, yeah, I, want, I, yeah, I kind of wanted that to die so that it wouldn't be in the way. If I fall down there, oh, okay, I see fire, so... I was wrong! Um, can I... Yeah, I thought since I saw the fire geyser, you know, there'd be some land there. But obviously not. Um, I wonder if there's any way I can get to that. Hmm, nah, I guess I shouldn't worry about it. I seem to be missing out on a lot here, unfortunately. I, I, I don't think it has anything to do. With, I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that I didn't practice this level. It's just that everything is kind of like a one chance opportunity, you know. Which is kind of a, which is really a, a running theme in this game. You have a one chance. You have like one chance to get something, or you're screwed. <laughs> but oh well. And we're 14 minutes in. I did. Yeah, I just looked at the timer. All right. Let's see what. Oh God, it's this thing again. It, this looks like some kind of like. Police car train, yeah, like because the front thing looks like a police car. I don't know why, it just reminds me of that. Okay, we're going up really slowly. Speaking of roller coasters, I've um like well in, in the summer, me and my dad are going to a few um amusement parks, and I've never been the kind of person to be scared to go on roller coasters, but now I think I'm becoming one because for some reason, like the what's it called the chance that the roller coaster might break or something is becoming a lot more relevant for some reason. So yeah, I've been coming a little, maybe, maybe not scared, but more, um, what's the word? More gingered about it. Okay, we're gonna say ginger, because for me, when you can't think of a word, just say ginger. Oh! Oh, I missed a treasure. Oh, I missed. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to redo, redo this level. Oh god, that was just, that, that was a terrible run, wasn't it? Mm, oh well. So yeah, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of me having to replay levels. You should have expected it. <laughs> Alright, so really quickly, well first we're gonna use the patch, and then I'm gonna run back through and get that last treasure. Hopefully I don't fail. And yeah, that, that, that that's another instance where you, where you had one chance to get it, and now after that you're pretty much screwed. Which is something I really don't like about this game. Like, I, I wish this game had like checkpoints, which... Well yeah, this game can't have checkpoints, because you can't die. So yeah. So I, I guess not being able to die is kind of a bad thing. Anyway, we have an outlet here. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna plug in the giant TV in the sky. And wait, what's the level called? Tube Town. Okay, I think it would be a little more relevant to being inside a freaking TV, but... Oh wait, maybe it's like YouTube. It's because it's like YouTube Town. Ah, uh, Bernie. 
Okay, I got it. Okay, for a second it looked like I was gonna miss that ladder, but luckily I did not. And as you can see, my beat count is very mediocre. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this level again of camera to get that. Yeah, I died twice in a row, like at the very end of the level. I was really angry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have to redo that off camera, probably at the end of this world. You know, but once again, I'm not gonna show you guys, just me going to do the same level again. I showed you where most of the hidden beads are, so, you know. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Kirby Civic Yarn, we are going to do the next two missions of this world, Space Land. How many we do, it depends on how long it takes, as usual. I'll see you guys later, and remember, prolonged endings are awesome! <laughs>